Hello everyone, this is Shudipta from Technical Potpori and welcome to my new tutorial. Today I will be discussing about types of JavaScript array. There are sparse array and there are dense arrays. So in this video, I will be talking about what are these type of arrays, how you can create them and etc. So without any further delay, so let's get started. Before I begin explaining today's topic, I would like to let you know that if you want to prefer reading, uh, I have a blog post. So I'll sharing the I'll be sharing the link of the blog post in the description of this video. But here you can find the link in your screen as well. Also, if you have any feedback, please put this in a comment section. I'll really appreciate that. And finally, please subscribe to my channel to get notification of all my upcoming tutorials. So let's first understand what is an array. So array in JavaScript is a very important concept. An array is basically a special variable which can hold more than one values. But do you know that we can create arrays where some of the element is basically nothing, is basically a hole in the array. So you basically cre you can create an array with some hole inside the array. I have a dedicated uh, YouTube playlist where I have talked about all the JavaScript array functions that is available, how they can, how they are being used today, what is their different use cases. So if you have not checked out that, I'll highly recommend that you please go ahead and check that entire YouTube playlist. The link, link you'll be finding in the upper right corner of your screen. Also, I'll put the link in the description of this video. So let's talk about dense array. What do you mean by the dense array? An array in a JavaScript is an object which represents an order collection of items. So let's say I'll create an array of countries. So let me create an array of countries where I have uh, countries like Canada, Switzerland, India. So I have this many uh, elements inside an array. So how we can print, we can print the individual elements of an array by accessing their index. So if I put zero and if I execute, as you can see, the first element is Canada. Similarly, we can access the other elements like one and two. So it will put Canada, Switzerland and India. So these are called indexes. So each array, every array uh, is having a property called index. Index starts with zero and index goes zero, one, two, three. So for example, in this, in this array, index zero of countries array is Canada. Index one of countries array is Switzerland and index two of countries array is India. So this is a property called index. At the same time, there is another property called length, which normally prints uh, the length of the array. So if I do this, it will put me three. So basically this country's array is having three elements. That's why the length of the array is three. Now, if you, if, as you can see, this country's length is three and each of the three elements, there is some values, there is something inside. So this is the case when we call this array as a dense array. So to give you an, give you an example, uh, to give you a definition, an array will be considered a dense array when it will have elements in, in each index of the array starting from zero till length minus one. So length is three, three minus one is two. So starting from zero to two, if each index is having some values, then it is called a dense array. We can always write a function to check whether this is a dense array or not. So let me write this function quickly. So let's give this a name is dense array and then this is a parameter is taking. let index equals to zero index is less than array dot length index plus plus if so 
sorry if array dot has own property index then we it will return false otherwise it will return true so what is basically telling is that you know it's checking each individual indexes and finding out whether there is a value or not so now if i uh, <coughs> if i do this if i call this function like is tens and pass my array which is countries i am expecting to get a true value so it is telling that my country's array is a tens array because each of the element each of the index is having some values now let's talk about the sparse array <clears throat> so sparse array is an array where there is some hole inside the array so what about if i modify this country's array by getting rid of this element and what will happen is that if i run this function now what i'm telling you getting is that the first element uh, of the array is canada second element i didn't put anything so it's basically in hole and it's telling undefined and the third element is um, india but the length of the array is still three so when you have a hole inside an array that array is considered as a sparse array now if i call my other function that is tens on this one i will be getting a false because not all of the index is having own property this this one this line is actually uh, becoming false because of the index 2 index 1 which is a second element of the country's array so in this type of scenarios the, uh, when there is an hole inside or there is an empty empty inside an array that array is considered as a sparse array now what are the different ways that you can create a sparse array definitely this is one way where you can um, uh, basically you are omitting one values when creating the array this is one way of creating a sparse array what is the diff what is the other way to create sparse array the other way of creating sparse array is like uh, by calling the array length function so let's say i want to create another array new countries and this time i will be doing this so what is doing is that it's actually creating a new array uh, called new countries of length 3 but each of the element of the array is basically an undefined there is a hole there is nothing initialized to that array so then this type of array is called a sparse array so if i now call my is tens function on this new array i'll be getting false so that means means that you know we are create we can create a sparse array by using the array um, array constructor uh, what is the what is another way of creating an array so let's say let's go back to the previous example let's say i have this array now this array is not a sparse array this array is a dense array because each of the elements are having some values right now what about i'm going to delete one element so let's say i'm going to delete uh, the i'm going to delete the first element of the array the moment i do that first element is switzerland switzerland is getting deleted right now after that if i call the same function again first i got true because it was dense array now i have deleted one element and up and it created an emptiness a hole and now my country's array is becoming a sparse array that's why it's getting false so this is another way of creating a um, creating a sparse array there is another way you can create a sparse array let's say you already have this array and it's a dense array now what i'm going to do i'm going to increase the length of this array as you already remember like length is a property of an array which which indicates how many elements are there in the array so currently we have three elements in the array but what about if i make five by making five what is happening is that i am creating some emptiness inside the array so now if i access let's say three i will get undefined 
at the same time if i call my instance function on this new array i'll be getting false because now my third and fourth position fourth index is having empty it is having no values so this is the way this is another way how you can create a sparse array by increasing the length of the array you, you already understood like what is a dense array and what is a sparse array and how you can create the sparse array one thing that you need to keep in mind is that uh, th there are multiple you know array functions right uh, which i have already gone through in my previous uh, videos and i have a dedicated youtube playlist for that so there are multiple array functions but you need to keep in mind one thing that many of these array methods always keep the holes or undefined elements from the sparse array what i'm trying to tell is that let's say i'm creating a sparse array here let's let's get rid of all this thing and run this okay so now i'm sure that my this country's array is a sparse array now what about I want to use a, use the for each function. So countries dot for each for each is a function which will go through each of the element of the array, and what it will do, it will do action whatever action that you are going to tell. So for here, what I'm telling is that you know go through each of the element of the countries uh, uh, array and print them and print them. So now if I execute now, I'm getting only Canada and India. There is an empty uh, element, there is an empty uh, hole, or there is emptiness uh, in the country's array. But this for each function is basically skips the, um, skips the hole or undefinedness. So <coughs> this is a, this is a uh, way you can create a dense array and a sparse array. And the only thing that you need to keep in mind, there are multiple array methods which normally skips the undefined or hold in the sparse array i hope this video is helpful please hit the like icon and share this video and also please subscribe to my channel to get updates about all my upcoming videos till then stay safe thank you goodbye